Hello, my name is Paul Jenkins. My late wife, Janet, passed away just over two years ago. Uh, Janet was a very clever linguist, fluent in many languages, very clever dancer, musician, seamstress and artist. Janet was born in 1956. I met her in 1970. We married in 1979, so we've been together all of her adult life. My message to all healthcare professionals is listen please to the carers and the family members of the patients you are responsible for because in my story listening didn't take didn't take part at all janet's condition started although we did not know why or when but round about summer 2006 when she had a fundamental overnight change in sense of smell and taste by spring 2010 she was increasingly lacking confidence and short-term memory was becoming challenging. I was speaking to GPs about this problem and they didn't take it seriously. They told me I didn't know anything, they were the medical people, and there was nothing for, for me to worry about, there was nothing wrong with Janet. But the deterioration continued, she was unable to play some of her musical instruments, she was unable to sew, she had to give up driving, and her short-term memory was beginning to, to suffer. By autumn 2011, the visits to GPs became quite confrontational because clearly there was something amiss. Um, and in fact, it got so confrontational that it nearly came to physical blows. So in November, December 2011, we did get a referral to Ardash and the community psychiatry nurses. Sadly, in January 2012, Janet was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of early onset Alzheimer's. As soon as Zardash's CPNs came on board, there was a huge weight lifted from my shoulders because up to that point, no one had believed there was anything wrong with Janet other than immediate family, friends, etc. Social services weren't interested, GPs weren't interested, nobody. But as soon as the CPN came on board, there was this huge weight lifted and care went in the right direction. Sadly, it was, as we were warned, a very aggressive form of Alzheimer's. The sight problems became bad. She was starting to get lost walking around the village. She had difficulty reading. She was no longer able to dance by autumn 2013. And by spring of 2013, she failed to recognize me as her husband. By spring of 2014, all she could do was walk. And this was a lady that could speak lots of languages, could dance to a high standard, could play musical instruments, and by spring 2014, all she could do was walk. She needed help to wash, to dress, to eat, to clean her teeth, to do anything. And in fact, in April 2014, she became violent towards me. Very, very out of character. Now, throughout the early part of 2014, her deterioration was very marked and the CPNs told me that she would be better off in care. And by autumn 2014, she needed to go into care because she was no longer safe at home. There were too many obstacles and she was beginning to fall over the stairs, the dog, the furniture, etc. So she went into a care home in October 2014. By the middle of 2015, she was doubly incontinent. She needed help in everything that she did. Literally, all she could do was walk up and down a corridor. There was no communication whatsoever. You could not get any words out of her at all. Um, it was very, very sad. Uh, there was no reaction to any stimulus, even music that had been her passion. Even music did not evoke any response whatsoever. Sadly, by the end of 2015, Janet was virtually bedbound and she passed away on the 4th of March 2016. Now, when she passed away, she weighed less than five stone, and all her adult life she'd been around about eight stone, so that shows the toll that Alzheimer's took upon her body and her mind. 
So my message to all the healthcare professionals that, that are watching this is please, please listen to what the, the patients, carers and family members tell you because you can see a patient every day of your life, of your professional life, but you will never know them as well as the, the family and the friends of the patient. So please, listen to us. Thank you.